News Radio 700 WLW. We all know the economy at this point is volatile at best, and uh, we all know that um, there are certain sectors of the economy that are experiencing layoffs. And uh, unemployment rates have been low, we know that. Unfilled jobs are many, we know that. But uh, according to a new uh, poll that was done by Harris, more than two in five employees, two in five of you, 42%, are worried about losing your job in a potential recession, and almost 50% say that they have changed their behavior at work to avoid being laid off. But there have been layoffs, and there are more to come. So if indeed you're worried about this, if the anxiety is getting to you, and it's starting to affect other things like your personal life, what should you do? Well, it's easy to say don't worry about it. You don't have any control over it because it is you. And it's easy for people who aren't you to say things like that. But there has to be much more. How do, you, how do you deal with it? How do you not become a statistic? How do you not become the person that on a random Friday is cleaning out their desk and being escorted out of the building? How do you avoid getting one of those dreaded termination packages? Because nobody wants to lose their job, at least not lose their job, because it's not their call. Standing by is somebody that knows Teresa Lusk. We've had Teresa on the show before. She's a life coach. She knows about these things. She helps people through these times. And if indeed there is that kind of anxiety in your life, this is a woman you need to listen to. Teresa Lusk, how are you on this glorious Saturday? Hi, Ken. I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm glad you're here. We enjoyed our chat the last time. But let's face it, uh, times are changing. And this is not last year or the year before. This is not like uh, the pandemic when there was an outside force that was dictating that companies either had to shut down or terminate a lot of people. Uh, this is the economy, which is on a roller coaster. And a lot of these companies, as you well know, are, are beholden to their stockholders or their board of directors or whatever. And if they're not, they're not turning a profit to their liking, the easiest thing to do is cut from the bottom line, which is more often than not salaries. So this is real, and it's affecting all walks of life. Um, how real is it? Before we get into what to do, how real is it, do you think? Or am I making too much out of this? No, actually, it's real. So we do want to be aware that it is real. Uh, there is a report out there that says about 60% of leaders uh, have said that they are concerned and that they do foresee a layoff coming for a lot of companies. Okay. So it is definitely something we're dealing with. Right, and we've already seen the layoffs, right? Uh, Goldman Sachs, Microsoft, Meta. Meta announced, yeah. uh, I think, this week or last week, it plans to lay off at least 10,000 employees. It's the second round of layoffs and job cuts that they've had. Uh, can you can Should your antenna be up at your company that, hey, this may be coming? Uh, is there a way that maybe you could, you know, get a lay of the land before the lay of the land engulfs you? Well, I think nobody can feel secure in anything in this season, unfortunately. But also it's important not to allow that uh, potential to uh, get the best of you. But it, should you be aware? Absolutely, Ken. You know, we, we can't just pretend it's not happening. But it allows you to, if you're aware, to start preparing in certain ways so that it doesn't, if it were to happen, it doesn't catch you off guard. And you can just start lining things up to be prepared should that happen. Somebody once told me that it's worse wondering about it than when it actually happens. This person obviously was a victim of layoffs. But is it just the, just the, 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 the anxiety of not knowing was a lot worse than the actual day that they said, look, it's, it's over and thanks for your time here. I, 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 I often think that being stuck in that some call it purgatory, it might be worse than the actual execution itself. Sure, it's mental torment. And this is why it's important to prepare because when you're running those thoughts through your mind of could this possibly happen, sometimes what helps calm those thoughts, the anxiety, is to make a list of the things that you feel you're good at. What are your strengths? What are some things that you're really good at? What um, Start doing some research. What do what does the job market look like out there? Who's hiring? What does my position, my type of position, look like? Where are they paying? What areas? Things like that. So if you start to prepare, it'll help with some of that. Will it take care of it 100%? Of course not. Humanity thinks about the what if, and I agree. I'm sure that it is terrible. The the anticipation 
of that and dealing with people in my office who are currently going through this, who have gone through this. Unfortunately, I've seen people get sick physically from the the angst. It's, it's too much for some people, which is why you do have to keep in mind that it's, that it's better to deal with some of those thoughts by putting some action to uh, the thoughts to help them die down a bit. Yeah, and, and the other thing I think, it, it's a... As you as you mentioned, put your put those thoughts into action. It's a great time to take a personal assessment of your life. Okay, what do my fa- finances look like? Am I spending an inordinate amount of time and energy, and most important, money, on things that I really don't have to have? Do could I could I do without that meal out two days a week as opposed to going out to dinner four or five days a week? Do I really need that second cup of coffee at Starbucks? I mean, it sounds trite, sounds trivial, but. You know, when 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 and if it does happen, I mean that's that's va- valuable cash on hand that you want to make sure you have just to to get you started or jump started into whatever your next position is. I think finances are a big thing to take assessment of before the proverbial axe drops. You are absolutely right. It is important to look at the at the expenses. Um, one of the ways that you can cut down is look at your subscription. Um, you know, ladies, you know, they're, they take care of hair and nails and things like that. There's alternatives that you can start preparing for. And, you know, not just that, but something happens when you start cutting down on expenses. That also will give you an anxiety because you'll start to feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm, you know, my hands are tight. I can't do this. So you also need to find alternatives while you're cutting those costs. Mm-hmm. Find something pleasurable to do so that while you're doing this to prepare just in case, you're also replacing what also might come at you without you even expecting it because you are making lifestyle changes. Mm. But that's a wise way to go is to, our thoughts are powerful. So we really need to take care of of what we think with action. So if you're going to start cutting down, great. Now make it a point to go for a walk, Um, you know, talk to a friend, do something so that you can replace those new things as well. So you're kind of taking care of two things at one time. Yeah, you know, Teresa, it's kind of, I mean, you use the word power. It's kind of empowering because so much of this is out of your control. If you have something that's within your control, like, okay, I know I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, whether it's taking a walk, whether it's cutting down on my finances or whatever it may be, uh, you become proactive as opposed to reactive because being reactive in this environment is crazy. You don't know what the action is, but you can be the active person. Yes, and it gives you a sense of control. So part of the reason why we get so so anxious is because we feel like we're losing complete control. So if you replace it with some type of action, um, it will give you a sense of control. It's funny how you can just trick the brain like that sometimes. Yeah, and, you know, it, it sounds trite, but it's true, I think, is networking. I mean, I'm sure there are people in your professional life that you don't keep in constant contact with, but yet know um, it better to have that re you know, that reinvigoration of that relationship before you actually need that person to help you. You know, hey, I'm out of work. Can you help me? As opposed to, hey, what are you doing? You know, let's uh, let's go get a drink or you know, let's have dinner tonight or whatever it may be. That's another way to stay proactive in these things. Yes, it is. And I'm actually a big proponent of stay, of continuing relationships even when you have moved on from a job because these are connections that you don't know if you'll need in the future, such as this season right now so networking is great putting some posts out on social media letting people know hey you know um, my company company is laying off would does anybody know of a place where they're hiring and if you don't want to do it in such a public manner you know send out a text send out a message and say hey haven't seen you in a while Um, can we meet somewhere for coffee I know we're trying to cut expenses but there might be maybe you could even get a group together and say hey we're going to network at this place Uh, does anybody want to host it you just want to reconnect with people that you know because you would be surprised at how many people find their employment just through connections that they've had. Most of the people that even I know personally, when you ask them where you get, to, oh, a friend of mine, my old coworker, um, it's not necessarily why I went on Indeed. I went here, I went there. So connections are, are they're invaluable. So you want to connect right now. You want to stay in touch. And by the way, you can use that as a support network as well not just hey i'm looking for a job but there are other people who might be affected by this so you can be a support and they can be a support as well so you want to build that network Teresa lusk is our guest she's a life coach we're talking about the we're back into it again uh, this this aura of layoffs and how everybody is kind of on guard or not sure exactly of what their their particular uh, status will be at the company they work for 
You know, I, we used to have a thing, I, I don't know, it was a couple of jobs back, we used to talk about rabbis a lot, professional rabbis, and not we're not talking about going to a temple or anything like that, but people that are that are steeped in wisdom in the particular field that you're in, somebody that you can trust and go to rather than just get caught up in the angst of other coworkers who might be in the same boat that you're in. I, I think it's important to have guidance in your life from somebody that's been there before or somebody that understands what the anxiety of the situation may be. We call them rabbis, and I, um, I'm, I, I think you've got to have those people in your life or it's going to be very difficult for you to be grounded in life. Would you agree? Yes, and actually you can find those people within maybe some relationships that you build, and if you can't find somebody within your very close social group, there are groups out there on social media where you can begin to pull on people who are willing, and there are some great people out there who are willing to be that, quote, rabbi for you, and you know contribute to your life through their wisdom and their direction and it just helps a lot you know taking care of mental health through this process is a big deal um this this is something that you know for the most of us our number one concern besides maybe our family is our finances so you do want to have that strong person or person that can speak some wisdom and life into you and give you some direction uh, tell you hey this is maybe, have you thought about doing this to your resume? And yeah. have you thought about reaching out there? So, yes, so that's definitely something you want to do. You're a life coach. Life is great. Beats the alternative. Why is life so difficult? <laughs> uh, I think sometimes, I mean, things are, situations and circumstances are inevitable. It, I really do believe that it, from a personal stance and a professional stance is how we see a thing, how we, we choose to perceive it, interpret it, and deal with it will actually determine how hard something will be. It doesn't mean it won't be hard, mm. but it can be harder if you don't learn and, and, and embrace some more positive ways of dealing with life. Yeah. Life will bring hard things, but we can deal with it uh, in a positive way, and it will relieve. It will bring some relief, no doubt. I know you have, uh, you, you're, you're very active in... Um in in media uh in fact uh, you're at teresa lusk show.com teresa lusk show.com what is the teresa lux show what is that is that a oh, right. variety show or you have animals and things like that bird acts what is the teresa lusk show no it's it's actually a tv program it's under production right now which is so if you go to my social media you'll you'll see my lots of uh radio interviews and some television interviews but i will also have my own show where it combines faith business and politics so we're looking forward to that. We're, we should have our, our first show coming out very soon. Oh. Uh, but I'm also just doing media appearances and doing the life coaching and speaking. So it's, it's, a, great, it's a great thing, now, no doubt. And well, I mean, you're a coach. People need coaching. How do, how do we find you then? Is that all right, Teresa, TeresaLuskShow.com, or is there a better, better place to get a hold That's of you? That's it. That's it, TeresaLuskShow.com. And you can submit a, an inquiry, and it will give you the option to choose if it's if it's coaching or media or other. All right. Well, when 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 that show gets up and running, I want to have you back on again because I'll watch Thanks. it, then we can talk about it. About <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Well, I think you helped some people out today. And look, life's okay. You're going to be okay. A job does not define you, and it's a job. And But there are plenty of them out there. And uh, if it's not a fit for where you are now, it will be a fit someplace else. That's um, sure. that, I think that's a – if you look at life that way, I think you're okay. That's right. All right. That's terrific. right. I think that's a great one. Stay yeah. well, okay? And good luck with Thanks. the show. We'll visit down the road. Thank Thanks. You so much. All right. Have a good one.